Hi everyone. Okay, I'm in here quickly to show you how to make this lacy stitch for the stole. Um, I had uh, one of my um, YouTube followers request this. Let me show you something. Yes, and the lady that requested this, actually maybe I should just do a screenshot and I'll show you. Um, it's Karen Allen. So I'm doing this for you, Karen, and anyone else who's interested in uh, trying to get this uh, stole started. Cause, and you said you went out and you got some yarn, so you're waiting for the tutorial. So I'm here to do it for you. I appreciate you so much for following and um, you know being part of my channel and giving me so much support. So. Um, I will go ahead and start this one again. I did it with the um, True Boo yarn that you know about it if you've been watching the videos. <clears throat> and last night I, I just did some, oops, this thing just fell here and started pulling some of it out. Uh, this, I did the same pattern, but this is with a different, it's just a number four acrylic. Um, it's probably a little bit thicker than what I've been using. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try and sample for you how to get started with the pattern. So this is the yarn I'm going to use. It's another thin yarn. And it is an ice yarn. Um, and it is a... Oh, this is a number four. Is it number four? No, this is a number... This is a number two. Yeah, this is really thin. So this is thinner than what I'm using. Um, yes, because I think the thinner the better. So anyways, when you start it, it's pretty simple. Okay, so you make your slip knot. And so you make a slip knot and then the instructions say two. Um, chain two. So one and two. Okay, and then it says to make two single crochets in the first chain. So you just count back two, obviously. So you go to the very first one, and you make two single crochets in there. So that is one, and that is two. Okay, so this is how you start. And then what you do is we're going to start that knot stitch and that's what's kind of throwing everybody off and it was kind of confusing for me too but then I just kept looking at it and knot stitch and trying to look up what a knot stitch was and I think it's similar to um, the um, Solomon's knot I'm pretty sure that's what it, similar to that so you just pull up the yarn so you make a you know it says I think it says about half an inch and then you you go through just like that, but then you go back in. Let's see if I can show this on camera. You go back in once again into that loop, draw up a loop, and then that's how you make the knot part. And then so that's your first knot. Then you do it again. You just pull the loop up a little bit not too much because you don't want it to be too big you go through pull through and then you go back in and then you go pull up a loop and then you pull through both loops and that's how you secure it that's how you make the knot part of the lacy stitch so see how it's coming I'll do it again pull up the loop about that much you can try and try and make them even if you can pull it pull through go back to the inside of that loop again drop another loop then you have two loops on your hook and then you draw through two loops and that's how you secure it and that's how you do it so I'll make I'll do one more pull it up so that you have a bit of a gap right yarn over hook pull through then you go back in to that same loop that big loop 
extended loop. I don't know how you call it. Pull up a loop again, then you have two on your hook, and then you draw through both. So that's that. So that's how you do it. So I'm going to keep doing this, and then I'll meet you back. I think the pattern says to make about, I think, 24, 26. I have to look it up. And then I'll meet you back when I've done all those, and then I'll show you how I did the second row. So I will meet you back. Okay, so I've done 25, so I'm going to do one more. So the pattern does say to make 26. So I'll just do one more. This is still the first row. So again, you go, you pull up that loop so that it's wide. Then you draw through the loop and then you go back in. Draw another loop on your hook and then make the knot part. So that's 26. Okay, so then the pattern says to chain one and turn. So chain one and turn and then I believe that I'm supposed to be making chain one and turn okay so different from when you're working on this on your own and then when you go to film it it's so different so then I make so I chain one turn and then I go in to that same stitch that's that chain and I'm gonna make a single crochet in there if I can see what I'm doing and hopefully I get it on camera but this is not it's not difficult ladies it really isn't it's not difficult it's just kind of confusing um, the way they describe it so I go in there and I make a single crochet if I can do this on camera once and then I go in again into the next part this is how I've been doing it each row I make two. So I made two single crochets at the beginning of each. Chain one and then I make two, ch ch chain one, turn, and then I make two single crochets at the beginning. And then you're going to start that loop again. So you pull it, try and make them even, go through, go through the back, pull up again, and draw through both loops. So we're starting that pattern to that. Um, that's how you make the knot stitch. So you, uh, you're you drawing up a loop and making a single crochet in the end of it. That's basically how you do it. And then you go into the previous one from the, the row, the first row of that knot, and you're going to make a single crochet in there to secure it. Once again, right? Hopefully I'm showing this okay. So there's your single crochet. Now we have to make another. Let's see if I can show you okay. See? Hopefully that will make sense. I hope so. I'm trying. <laughs> and then once again you pull it again to make another knot stitch. Go through, go through the back again, and you make a single crochet. So there's another knot stitch, but then in order to secure it, to the first row you have to go into that part that you knotted below and you make a single crochet in there so I think it's very similar to the um, Solomon's knot but I think I'm not sure I'm not sure I it's very I think it's very similar to Solomon's knot that's what it looks like and then you just continue. So then you just once again pull up the loop, make it large, draw a loop and go through it, then turn it and draw up a second loop and secure it. So there you go. And then once again you go into that part underneath from the first row, make your single group. Oops! <laughs> go into that. not it's really not that hard it's not it's just because I'm trying to film it and uh, it's hard to see so that's basically it so I'm gonna carry on go doing this and I'll meet you when I get to here and then I'll just start the beginning of the third row and then I think you should be okay I think you should get it by then so I'll be back I'll meet you at the end of this row Okay, I'm almost at the end of round two. 
This is how it's looking. Okay, so I believe this was the first um, um, knot stitch that I made in the beginning of the first row. So you use out those knot stitches, the single crochet part, or the knot part, <coughs> excuse me, you use that to kind of anchor in. So now, when I, I'm at the end of the row, so I'm going to go to the very end, and I make a single crochet at the end of the row. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how it looks. Isn't it pretty? Such a pretty stitch. So you just do the same thing that I just did. You make a chain. You turn. Maybe I'll be able to show you better now because it's, there's a little more um, work. And uh, you go into that first chain that I just made and you make your single crochet in there. And then I go into the second, the second, uh, second stitch that I can see. <laughs> Believe me, once you get going, it's going to be easy. And then I make another single crochet in there. So I make always two. Chain one, turn, two single crochets, and then you start the knot lacy stitch. So you pull up the loop again, go through, go behind, pull up another loop, secure it. So that's how you make it. That's how you secure it. And then you anchor it in the previous row. You anchor it in the one below. The other, um, I guess you call the single crochets in between the lacy parts. Hopefully that makes sense. And as you go through the pattern and as you're working with it, you'll see it makes sense. It'll make sense. And then that's how you anchor it. So you anchor it to the next row. So you're just always following this part. I hope this is making sense and I hope this is helping. I really do. And then I'm just going to do another one. And pull through, go to the back, pull through, and then uh, secure it again with a single crochet. Okay, so, so I just made another one. And then again, like I said, you just anchor it in the one below the single crochet of the one that you just made below in the, in the row below and that's how you anchor the lacy stitch by making another single crochet just like that so and then that's all you do you just keep making the lacy stitch which is pulling the loop largely I don't know how to say it making it higher high so it's about like that draw through go back behind it so you're going into that loop twice um, and you're making a single crochet in it as you do it. And that's it. And then I anchor it here and I just carry on like that all the way. And then you just keep doing this until you, the pattern says, uh, I think it has to be 52 inches, which is I think four and a half feet. So that's how you do the lacy stitch. I hope this helped. I really do. Um, and I hope that you're able to make your, your shawl pocket stole. It's beautiful. So you can see the difference with different yarn. This is a really thin two weight. This is a four. Again, I'll just show you again just to see the difference. But I really, really, really love how it's turning out with this rayon bamboo yarn that I chose. It's just draping so it's so lovely the way it drapes and it, this is a little bit trickier to use because it, it splits a bit as you as you work with it so I find myself you know it's taking a while to do it that's why it's taking so long it's the yarn is very delicate but it's gorgeous and it's so soft so I hope this helped if you have any questions let me know um, I really hope this helps you Karen thank you so much everyone for watching and uh, get your patterns on the Facebook group craving crochet you can download them in the file section and uh, please make this stole 
pocket stole with me and then when you're done post your photos okay guys thank you for watching thank you so much for watching bye let me show you something